Guys, welcome back to the channel. So a couple of weeks ago, WordPress 6.7 was officially launched. And of course, as you can imagine, with this new launch came a bunch of new improvements and features. So in this video, I'm going to give you what I believe are the most important features and improvements that you need to be aware of. So without wasting any time, let's jump right in. And first of all, we do have ourselves a brand new WordPress theme. It is the 2025 theme. And what makes this particular theme quite interesting is the fact that it's been designed specifically for blogs. Now, this is not to say that you cannot use this theme for a business website or an e-commerce website or any other kind of non-blog website. It's just that the default styles and layers that come with the theme tend to favor blogs more. And it's very unusual because you'll have to go all the way back to, I think, 2014 or maybe 2015 for the last time WordPress actually made a theme that was tailored specifically for blogs. But nevertheless, it's a brand new theme and I might make a separate tutorial showing you exactly how to work with this theme to the fullest. Now, fantastic news for you if you work with an iPhone or an iPad. I personally don't. I'm very, very poor. I work with an Android, but just in case you work with an iPhone or an iPad and if, you, if you've ever tried to transfer images from your device directly to your WordPress website, you may have encountered some issues here and there. The good news here is that from 6.7 onwards, WordPress now supports the HEIC uh, image uploads, which I believe is the format for the images stored in your iPhone your, uh, or your iPad. So that's good news for you if you're an Apple user. You should now be able to upload images directly from your Apple device to your WordPress website without any issues. Now, let's take a look at the front end, what we can actually now do. So. The first thing I want you to be aware of is whenever you're editing your page or your post, there's going to be this new nifty feature called the zoom out function. You click in there and the wonderful thing here is that you can actually take a look at your page or post, but from a zoomed out perspective. Now, this would be very, very useful, especially if your page has plenty of sections and plenty of content. So. You just want to take a look at everything from a glance from a zoomed out perspective you now have this option right here and i think it's actually very very cool what makes this even cooler is the fact that if, even from this zoomed out perspective you can still add additional content so for example i can come over here to my banners right now and i can add this one right there and just like that we can now add content to our page even from the zoomed out perspective and what makes this even neater and cooler is the fact that for certain kinds of content we now have access to something known as the shuffle function it's right there now what this does is that if you've chosen a particular kind of template or pattern in this case right now i chose a banner and i don't like the initial design i can click on the shuffle button and wordpress will try to display a different banner different styling just to see if i like it so that's the new style right there i don't like it i'm going to click again now there's a new style right there without an image i click in there now we have a different style with a huge background image and some huge text i don't like that i can try that again and now we have a different style so you now have this option with wordpress 6.7 and i think it's actually very 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 interesting so i'm going to zoom out right now okay and show you something very very cool as well so for certain kinds of content like blocks, for example, we now have access to the styles. Let me show you how this would work. So I'm going to go over here to my settings. So I'm going to go over here to the style tab right here. And now clicking on this particular group right here, you can see I have access to six different styles. I have the default style. I have style one, style two, style three, style four, and of course, style five. Depending on which style you choose, you will have access to different kinds of background colors for that particular group. So it's a pretty neat new uh, function that's been added to 6.7. One other thing I want to show you is that you now have the ability to make the background images for some of your content fixed. Now, as an example, this is a grouped uh, block right here. Okay. And let me just close this real quick. So let's say I wanted to add a background image to this particular uh, block right here. I can go over here to background. Uh, sorry, not, not here. Uh, let me choose the uh, the group right here. Okay, so from here right now, okay, I can go over here to my styles tab, 
go to add background image. I'm going to open up my media library. And just as an example, I'm going to add this background image of the lady working on the, on the computer. Select. Now, there is nothing new here. Okay, We've been able to add background images to our uh, group of blocks for quite some time now. But with 6.7, we can now make the image actually fixed. So to do this, you want to go back and click on the name of the background image here. It's photo by this is engineering. I'm going to click in there. And now you can see we have the ability to make the image a fixed background. So when we scroll up and down the image, the background image does not move. It's kind of astonishing how it's taken WordPress this long to finally add this very common and very popular feature. But hey, they've added it. It's here. You can now make the background images for your group blocks. And I think your verse blocks as well. You can now make the background images fixed. But please do note that this particular feature isn't supported yet on most blocks. I do believe in the future, more and more blocks will have the ability to add background images and also make them uh, fixed as well. One last thing I want to show you here is if you work with the uh, buttons a block, Okay, so as an example, I add my buttons in here. You can now actually add a background color to the column holding your button. So from here right now, I've clicked on the buttons uh, link right there. I'm going to go over here to the styles. And now in here, I can click on color. And now I can add a background color specifically for that particular container holding the button. Not the button directly itself, but the container holding the button. So... It's a feature that you may not necessarily use, but nevertheless, it's nice to have that feature just in case you never know when you might actually want to make use of it. So I thought I'd mention that as well. The other major improvements come from the theme styling option. So let me show you real quick. If I was to go over here to my editor and from here, I went over to styles. You will now notice that we now have access to two new sections, one for palettes and then one for the typography. So you can choose from different types of palettes in here. And of course, this will affect the background color, the color of your headers, the color of your links, your regular text, and so on. And you can also choose the typography as well. Actually, let me show you how this would look like. Okay, so as an example, I could choose the very first uh, palette right here. That's how it is going to look like. I can choose a different palette, choose a different palette in here, another one in there so you can see the difference. And then, of course, for the typography, I can click on the different options in here just to show you how it's going to look like. So you now have more options when it comes to adding your uh, site-wide stylings. Also, we now have access to something very, very important, which is the fluid typography. So as an example, if I wanted to add myself a new template, all right, now if I was to go over to my styles, right here, you will see the typography. I click in there. And now down here, we have our font sizes, the font size presets. We have small, medium, large, extra large, and even extra, extra large. But what makes this very interesting is that if I was to click on any one of them, just as an example, small, right here, we can customize just how large or small we want to make the font size to be. But now here we have the fluid typography option, which in my humble opinion is the single biggest improvement because finally, we now have text that will be responsive automatically. So fluid typography simply means that the text will either shrink in size or expand depending on the size of the screen. So it's, in my humble opinion, the best, the biggest single improvement with 6.7, this fluid typography option. So we now have that available for us. And of course, if you wanted to add your own custom font size presets as well you can do so right here you click on custom okay and now from here you click inside and now you can add the font size and if you want to make the, the typography fluid or not you do have that option as well so in my humble opinion again like i said this is the biggest improvement with 6.7 now to conclude there's also been a ton of improvements behind the scenes uh features that we may not necessarily see from the front end but in terms of like security, uh, media library support, uh, pattern support, API improvements, a ton of these come with 6.7. And I know we may not be able to see it visually from the front end, 
But it's nice to know that behind the scenes, WordPress is getting better and better as a platform. So that's pretty much it for 6.7. Again, there's a few other features that have been also released, which I did not talk about simply because I believe these features are just very slight improvements. They're not really worth talking about. Hopefully in the next version of WordPress, these improvements will have been further expanded upon to the point where there'll be like big improvements and I'll be able to make a video talking about them then. So that's it for WordPress 6.7. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Share this video with anyone who you feel might benefit from it. And uh, are you going to be working with 6.7? Are you going to be working with the new WordPress theme, the WordPress 2025 theme? Do let me know. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please do let me know. Put your comments or questions down in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them as soon as I can. Stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.